Glad you're feeling better. Thanks to Dr. Oliver. Yeah, and guess what? He's gonna be staying here, so next time you're not feeling well, we will have an expert right here in the house. I just wish Henry could be happier for us, but he just worries because he loves us so much. <laughs> yeah, you know that. And Dr. Oliver, he's... Well, he's... you're here to challenge me to a duel, I left my sword in my other lap. No, no, I'm, I'm here to apologize. Look, Katie, Katie's husband died a few months ago, uh, the same day that Jacob was born, actually. Ouch. Ouch, yeah, ouch. And uh, anyway, she's a little lost right now, and she's spending a lot of time alone. And for Bubbles, that's the nickname I give to Katie, for Bubbles being alone is not such a good thing. So I'm, I'm glad that you are moving in with her. What do you mean, lost? Well, how would you feel if the man that you love was shot and killed before he had a chance to see his kid? I'm not quite sure how to answer that. Well, you'd be a mess. And in, if you were Katie, then that would mean long, crying, hysterical jags to like 3 a.m. and inappropriate laughter and sudden mood swings and rage and then smashing the dishes, which scares the bejeebus out of the baby. But you being a world-famous brain surgeon, I, I, you know, I'm sure you can handle all that. You, cutting into noggins all day, so you must have nerves of steel, which you are going to need. I sleep with earplugs. Great. Well, I tried that too. Good luck, Doc. I don't blame you for wanting to keep a beautiful woman like Bubbles all to yourself. Don't call her that. Truth is, I'm rather moody myself. Even world-famous brain surgeons have needs. And with a hottie like Katie on the other side of the whoa, wall... Whoa, 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 don't talk like that. No, 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 don't talk. She's a, she's a mother. You will scar Jacob for life. Oh, babies are resilient. I learned that at Harvard. Oh, don't worry, Uncle Henry. You can trust me. Why should I? You know? I don't know. Excuse me, I have some patience to see. I just really thought that Damien had changed. We all did, Luke, and that's what's so... Evil. It's more complicated than that. Damien desperately wanted us to be a family. And he almost made that happen. Yeah, by manipulating us, Mom. Damien has always had demons, and... When his back is against the wall, they come out in terrible ways. He will fight to the death for what he loves, and that's all he knows. You still love him, don't you? I hate what he did, Luke. I I just, I, I can't turn off my feelings. It, it wouldn't be love then. It's okay for you to still love him, Luke. He's a part of you. <sighs> I wish that you weren't. I'm glad he is. How can you say that? Because you are the most loving and wonderful son that I could ever wish for. Damien gave you to me. I will always be grateful to him for that. Do you think we'll ever see him again? <sighs> Dad! The hospital told me that you checked out. Are you doing okay? Where have you been? You were with Damien, weren't you? Yeah. Has he been arrested? No, I let him go. Why are you shaking? What happened? Damien happened. How could you let him go after everything? It wasn't the plan, but after I talked to you, I went to go find him. Where was he? He was down at the docks. He was trying to catch that freighter, just like you said, 20 minutes later, and I would have missed him. What happened when you found him? I wanted him to rot in prison for everything that he had done. I was about to call Margo, and that's when he said that if there was a trial, that there was no guarantee he'd be convicted. So he asked me to let him go. 
If you let him? I, I realized that if I didn't, he would just be hanging over us, and I didn't want that for you. So I agreed. He convinced us that you were dead. That's the only reason we ever stopped looking for you. I know that, look. He caused us all a lot of pain. He, I, I still can't even believe what he did to my mother, but I just figured it was, it was best, and we should all just move on with our lives. Is that even possible? Yes. That's why I let him get on that ship. That's why I let it sail away, so that he would not hurt this family anymore. Did he say where he was going? No, he did not, and I didn't care to ask. What about Meg? Doesn't she deserve justice? The best thing for Meg right now is that she never sees or thinks about Damien Grimaldi ever again. What makes you think he won't come back? He won't. There's nothing here for him, and he knows that. I'm sorry I ever trusted him. It's OK. He's your father. <sighs> no. No, you are my father, and I am so lucky for that. Uh, oh, what's, what's wrong? It's okay, it's okay. I'm fine. Um, I, I need to find my sister. Oh, you haven't found Meg yet? No, I, I just wanted to come here first to make sure you guys were okay. We are now. Good, good, I'm glad. Hi. Hold it. It's so good to see you back in this house. It's nice to see you too. I, I can't stay. I need to need to go find my sister. Nice to see you. You know what? I'll walk you out. We left the hospital so quickly I didn't get a chance to pick up your prescription. <laughs> hey. Finally. All's well with the world. Is it? Did you bring the lease? Yeah, um, didn't want to talk about rent? Nah, I'm just gonna send the bill to Bob Hughes anyway. He owes me at least that for putting me on hangnail duty. What about neurosurgery? If I could find somebody in this town with a brain, I might consider it, but so far, no such luck. Oh, wait, um, I need to know when you're gonna move in because I want to make room for your stuff. I have no stuff. I was kidnapped and brought here against my will. I don't even have an extra pair of socks. Okay, I could take you shopping, you know. Yeah, just Point me in the direction of the nearest discount department store. I'll buy 50 pairs of underwear, 50 shirts. If I'm not in Dallas by the time I run out, euthanize me. Um, do you have a washer and dryer? OK, good. Well, if you could use biodegradable soap only, you yeah, know, that'd be great. Uh, no, I'm not going to be doing your laundry for you. I can show you how the machine works when you're on your own. I don't have time to wash my shirts spin dry. Do you ever do anything but work? I went to Vegas once. Oh, did you have fun? It was a medical conference. If they have actual daylight in that city, I never saw it. For a guy who went to Harvard, you sure have a lot to learn. I guess it depends on the teacher. Noah, what are you doing out here? Um, just waiting for Maddie. She went in the bookstore for a few minutes. Is your mom all right? She has a bump on her head, but she'll be fine. The doctor called in a prescription, so I came here to get it. And what about you? How are you doing? Uh, I don't want to get into it. Uh, I am sorry about shutting you out before. It's not that. Well, what is it? It's just that... If I get into it, I'm probably going to break down, and then you're probably going to want to comfort me. And before you know it, we've broken Dr. Oliver's stupid rules, so it's not worth it. I don't care. <laughs> well, I do. No, you don't understand how much I want to tell you what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. But more than that, I want you to see again. I don't want Damien to mess that up also. So, do you want me to wait with you until Maddie gets back? Oh, no, that's, that's all right, I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. Well, take care of yourself, then. You too? Wait, wait, Luke, wait, this is stupid, you were right. 